Hey guys, this is Zaman and welcome back to another new tutorial of PowerPoint School. So today I will show you how to make this animated timeline presentation slide in just PowerPoint. So without wasting any further time, let's start our today's tutorial. So today we have to add this teardrop shape with the icon and these small circles, this line shape, few text boxes. So let me take a new slide. At first we have to pick a oval shape holding the ctrl shift make it a smaller one zoom in go to format from shape fill change the color from shape outline select no outline then press ctrl d to make a duplicate give it a new color holding the ctrl shift make it a smaller one place it in the middle of our previous circle select this two and press ctrl g to group now zoom out, pick a line shape holding the shift key, make it like this, go to format, from shape outline change the color, again from shape outline increase the weight to a half point. Now we have to connect this line with the group of circle and send it to back. After that, select these two, bring them over here, holding the ctrl shift from your keyboard, drag them to right and it will be duplicated. Do the same again, holding the ctrl shift, we just need to drag them right. At the end, select only this group of circle and holding the ctrl shift, drag them to right and it will be duplicated. Now you can change the color of this small circle. So select and from shape fill change the color. Do the same. Select the small circle and from shape fill change the color. I'll try to give all the RGB values or you can get this color from our template file. So after changing the color of this small circle, we need to pick a teardrop shape. Holding the control shift from your keyboard Make it like this, rotate it, drag this yellow dot to down, we'll get something like this. Now go to format from shape fill, change the color so that it matches with the respective one. From shape outline, select no outline. Now we have to pick a oval shape, holding ctrl shift drag it over here go to format from shape fill change the color to white from shape outline select no outline now make sure this circle is in the middle of our teardrop shape and then we have to select these two shapes and press ctrl G to group now bring it to here holding the ctrl shift drag it to right it will be duplicated do the same, holding the ctrl shift, you just need to drag them to right and place over this small circle. So now we can change the color of our teardrop shape so that it matches with the respective circle. Just select the teardrop shape and from shape fill, change the color. This is so simple. Just select and from shape fill, change the color. After that, we have to add some icons on this white circle. So go to insert, click on picture, as I have already downloaded few icons from flaticon.com. So I'll select all the icons and select insert. So what I'll do now, I'll just select this icon and place it over the white circle. Make sure this icon is in the middle of this circle. You can download these icons from flaticon.com, I'll give the link in the video description. After adding all the icons, we have to select only these and press ctrl G to group. Do the same, select only these and press ctrl G to group. In this way we have to group rest of the element, just the teardrop shape and the icon. After grouping all the element, select all of these and make sure these are in the middle of our powerpoint slide so now we can add some text boxes 
so pick a text box drag it over here add some text select all the text change the font to TWC and empty make it bold change the font color make it center holding the control shift drag this text box to down and it will be duplicated change the font size remove bold and here you can add some brief text now take it a bit upward holding the control button select this 2 and press control G to group now bring it to down pick another text box drag it over here add some number selecting this text change the font to TWC and empty make it bold increase the font size change the font color make it center now place it over here and take this group of text box a bit upward so now holding the control button we can select this two and holding ctrl shift drag it to right it will be duplicated do the same holding the ctrl shift drag it to right it will be duplicated in the same way we have to do the rest now we can just select this text change the font color so that it matches with the respective color and change the text as it is so simple I'm doing it fast forward to save your time after changing all these color and text I'll just copy this upper portion from our previous slide press ctrl C to copy and ctrl V to paste now you can go for the animation part so go to animation click on animation pane to look over animation status now to add the first animation on this small group of circle go to add animation select zoom set start on click duration 0.25 second select this group of shape from add animation select zoom set start after previous and duration 0.25 second select this number text box from add animation select zoom set start after previous and duration 0.25 second select this group of text box from add animation select float in set start after previous and duration 0.25 second now we have to select this line shape and from add animation select wipe from effect option select from left set start after previous and duration 0.50 second increase the delay 0.25 second for this small group of circle we have to select zoom set start after previous and duration 0.25 second for this group of shape from add animation select zoom set start after previous duration 0.25 second select this number text box from add animation select zoom set start after previous duration 0.25 second select this group of text box from add animation select float in set start after previous and duration 0.25 second now we have to select this line shape from add animation select wipe from effect option select from left set start after previous duration 0 0.50 second and delay 0 0.25 second as we are using the same animation again and again for each block that's why we can use the animation painter tool to copy and paste the animation so here I'll select this animated small group of circle click on animation painter to copy and paste it over the non animated object again select the animated object click on animation painter to copy and paste it over here select this text box click on animation painter to copy and paste select this group of text box click on animation painter to copy the animation and paste it over here select this line shape click on animation painter to copy and paste it over this non animated line shape this is really a simple process you just need to select the animated object click on animation painter tool to copy the animation and paste it over the non animated object so here following the same process I'm just copying and pasting the same animation again and again 
I'm just selecting this line shape, click on animation painter to copy, paste it over here, select this small group of circle, click on animation painter to copy, paste it over here, select this group of shape, click on animation painter to copy their animation and paste it over here. Select this text box, click on animation painter to copy and paste it over here. So for the last group of text box, click on animation painter to copy and paste it over here. And we are done. Now if you start the slideshow, you can see that our animation is working perfectly. You can download this template for free, I have given the download link in the video description. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you give a like for this video. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, share with your friends and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you get a notification when we upload a new video. So that's all for today, hope to see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.